Hey, investing and saving friends. I'm Michelle Markey. And if you've watched some of my videos, you would know that I'm super into saving my money. So it's no surprise that I'm bringing you another video about high yield bank interest accounts, like some that I like and some that surprised me in today's video, because the last time I made a video about high yield bank accounts was back in August, 2023, and now it's February, 2024. So there's been some surprises where some accounts are giving you more in terms of interest. So that's a nice development if you feel like they don't have a lot of hurdles, like I prefer banks that don't have any monthly maintenance fees nor require much minimums to be in there or that max you out at a certain amount that they're willing to give you the high yield interest on. So I try to be on the lookout for those things. And also I try to avoid accounts that make you have 10 to 15 debit card transactions. Like it's a little bit, a lot involved for me. So I try not to go for any of those kinds of accounts, but they might work for you if you feel like the terms and conditions make sense to you. So if you enjoy learning about some of the best savings accounts out there, please like and subscribe. And let's get into some of the potential possibilities that you could be maybe saving your money in. So there's been a lot of changes, just so you know, over the past six months where a bunch that I had on that list back then that you can feel free to check out are no longer on this list. And I still got 70 accounts, but they may have changed up from what you've seen. So I find it interesting when some banks that I've checked on their websites or some of my favorites like bestcashcow.com, which I used heavily to refer a lot of what I populated on my list today, and also depositaccounts.com, which also gave me some updated facts, but they also point to an interesting other site called Raisin, which seems to feature a lot of either savings or money market account. What I notice on Raisin is that it might not always be the most updated, like with this blue federal credit union, it said that it's 5.15%, whereas on the actual blue savings site, it says a lower amount. So you might want to double check what is really the case. And maybe it's different between money market and savings accounts, but you just want to be careful, whatever it is. And what I encourage all of us to do is take advantage of some of these high yield savings accounts while we can, because the central bank of the USA called the Federal Reserve is keeping their Fed funds rate at the current range right now of five and a quarter to five and a half percent. But we don't know for how long it will stay there. And once they start cutting interest rates, that will inspire a lot of normal banks that you and I use every day to start cutting their savings rates as well. So you might be used to getting 5.1% like I am, and then you may be faced with a lower interest rate in the future if some of your favorite banks and mine might go down in their interest rates. So I encourage all of us, while interest rates are still considered high, that we try to put some money there as long as we don't need the money right away. And if we do want our money out right away, I suggest staying in more liquid savings accounts rather than opening certificates of deposit or CDs, which can be really attractive as well. And a bunch of sites of these banks offered some sometimes lucrative uh, rates that you could maybe go for. But without that, I think that you got plenty of options with having pretty liquid accounts and like I've said before, make sure they're FDIC insured, which means that you're insured by the federal government up to $250,000 in some of these bank accounts. So double check things like that. And one account that I think surprised me that I've had on the list before, but which has increased their rate, maybe to attract more people, but has a few restrictions and some loops that you have to jump through. So make sure you double check those things if you're interested. But drum roll for my number one bank on this list is considered La Capital Federal Credit Union Checking, where while they require 15 debit transactions per month and some other things you need to do, you might be able to get a lucrative 6.25% interest rate, which is pretty impressive. I think that's incredible if some folks can take advantage of that. Like, why not? If it meets your needs and you trust this bank, then all the more power to you because that's almost as good as the stock market's historical average rate of return, which is around 7%. So if you just keep it in something that's considered 
fairly low risk in terms of an FDIC insured type of bank, then you might be doing pretty dandy in something like this if it works for you. And another one is Mango Savings, where you could get up to 6%, up to $2,500, but the catch is you have to make $1,500 plus in monthly purchases, and that will get you 6%. So I don't like having to spend money to earn money, so that's not super attractive to me. But at the same time, if you were to go to the mangomoney.com site, you can see that they believe in contributing to customers' finances and building a better America. So once the customers have savings in excess of $2,500, they think that they have the tools and have established the right habits that they no longer need to be earning that much interest. So you might as well take your money out of there if you have over $2,500 and invest in another high-yielding account like for example, Millibank, which is a division of First National Bank of Omaha, it's giving you 5.5%, but you might wanna check reviews on places like bestcashcow.com and other sites to make sure what other customers' experiences have been because for a lot of these high yield bank accounts, they don't always have the most stellar reviews. So you gotta double check what makes sense and if you believe in the reviews or not, or if you call the customer service, are they being truthful and giving you honest answers? Like, how do you know? Like sometimes it helps if a friend or family member has already opened a bank account there. And if they say that a good experience, that might help you make a decision too. And other banks include Customers Bank Savings at 5.36%. And I think Customers Bank is actually the main underlying bank of T-Mobile Money. So even though T-Mobile Money has been stuck at 4% up to I think three grand, it's interesting how their foundation is this customer's bank, which is giving you maybe a decent rate and Brilliant Bank giving you 5.35, Brio Direct 5.35, My Banking Direct 5.35, Climate First Bank 5.34, Veritex Bank 5.34, Blue Peak Credit Union 5.33, and two that are giving 5.32 of RB Max and FVC Bank. Atlantic Federal Credit Union giving you 5.3, as well as several of the following, Ivy Bank, Neighbors Bank, Redneck Bank, VO Bank, Vistar, and then moving on to the 5.27 is Transportation Alliance Bank doing business as Tab Bank, which I looked at their website and it's kind of entertaining. So the little things to keep in mind like that is like, what is the user interface of the bank? Do you feel like you like it or not? And another one that's giving 5.26 is Total Direct, UFB Direct, also known as Axos Bank, five and a quarter. And same with CFG Bank and Fitness Bank, which Fitness Bank I've talked about a few times before. It's kind of an interesting idea of earning some savings while you're exercising, if that helps motivate you. So I think that's kind of fun. And there's New Tech Bank at 5.25 as well. There's North American Savings at 5.24. State Bank of Texas at 5.22. And something interesting with the State Bank of Texas is you might want to check their website and look at some of the fine print because sometimes you need at least $50,000 minimum deposit in their 12-month CD for 5.4% or 100000 minimum deposit for the high rate jumbo money market at 5.22%. So keep that in mind that you have to sometimes jump through some big hurdles to get that kind of rate. And then there's this Oklahoma State Bank money market and they have Buffalo in their name. And I say they formerly had 5.21% because the weird thing about the Oklahoma bank is that they don't really talk about what their rates are on their website. And they just put like a please contact us and I find that a little bit discouraging. And it's not only Oklahoma State Bank that's doing this, it's a bunch of other banks that don't even feel like putting their rates publicly online, which I think is a little bit uh, shady to say the least. So I'm not saying Oklahoma State Bank is shady, but I think that when banks are not willing to be as forthright and tell you what the rate just is, plain and simple on the website, and they make you have to call them or you know, dig deeper and apply to find out what the rate might be, I feel like I wouldn't go for that. So be careful out there if you're signing up to banks that don't even tell you what the interest rates are. And with Cloud Bank, I say they might have formerly had 5.2% because 
that and Oklahoma State were old rates that I had from last time and I couldn't verify anywhere if that's truly what their rates are. But this Cloud Bank 247 savings, I think could be kind of interesting to play around in one of their calculators that gives you a way to figure out what age you might be when you might become a millionaire. So I find that kind of fun because let's say you put your age, the target age you wanna be a millionaire by and how much you currently have invested, how much you save per month and the amount of rate of return you expect to get. I'm guessing from the stock market, but you could treat that as a 5% savings account and what you think inflation might be. And that would tell you at what point they think you'll become a millionaire. So I think that's kind of fun because it's good to kind of know what you're on track for depending on what your goals in life are. And then moving on to popular direct savings, that's giving you 5.2% and it actually says so on the website. So case in point, like it's not that hard for these banks to tell you what you could expect to get. And then a bunch giving you 5.15% at Bread Savings, FNBO Direct, TIAA Bank, AKA Everbank, Western State Bank, and then a bunch giving you 5.1% like Bank 5 Connect, BMO Alto, Basque Bank, a division of Texas Capital Bank, and Home Loan Investment Bank, as well as Genius Bank, a division of Sumitomo Mitsui Bank. And then you have Primus Bank Savings at 5.07, Bank Purely 5.05, same with Valley Direct. And then there's Canadian Imperial Bank USA at 5.01, same with Salem 5. And there's Connect One Bank at 5% and a bunch giving you 5%, such as Consumers Credit Union, but they start you off at 3%. So they make you jump through some hurdles. Dollar Savings Direct, Laurel Road, Lending Club, Merchants Bank of Indiana, Quantic Bank, Rising Bank, Vero Savings, Virtual Bank, and Wealthfront, all giving you 5%. So definitely check them out and see if any of these are compelling to you and if they have good reviews and if you feel like you could trust them perhaps. And then there's Northern Bank Direct at 4.95, First Foundation Bank that might be giving you 4.9%. So the interesting thing to check with First Bank is I didn't find their interest rate online, but another third party site mentioned that First Foundation Bank might be 4.9%. And when I tried looking at their FAQ, I found something interesting that other sites don't always explain as well about the difference between seeing an annual percentage rate or APR on your interest statement rather than what's advertised in the annual percentage yield or APY. And the APR is a little lower because it doesn't include compound interest, whereas apparently the APY does. So that's why we have a bit of a difference there. So. I think that was neat that at the very least, even if I'm not sure how much interest they're really giving, at least we know that much. And then I go banking is 4.78. Betterment gives you 4.75, but new customers could maybe get 5.5% for three months. And then maybe you'd take advantage of that, then move your money. And then Sally May is 4.75. Synchrony, 4.75. Ridgewood Savings, 4.75. And then a bunch that are 4.7 and below, like CNB Bank, SoFi Bank giving you 4.6, Monesty 4.58, Citizens and Goldman Sachs and PNC Bank all giving you 4.5, as well as Prime Alliance. And then lastly, we got Ally Bank and Colorado Federal Savings Bank at 4.4%. So that's a lot of options that you may want to consider as far as what some of the latest and greatest high yield savings accounts might be. And like I said, definitely read the fine print before you were to sign up to any of these banks because you could be gravely disappointed. Like what if you put money in and then you have a difficult time getting it out? Like that's no fun. So definitely make sure you can actually trust any of these online banks, especially if they're not a brick and mortar bank that you could actually go to. Like you could at least go to PNC Bank, which is brick and mortar. So I don't know if they have the same offers in person as they do online. So definitely check stuff like that out if that's of interest to you. And so, yeah, if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video or learned something, please like and subscribe and happy savings.